people welcome back some more Yu Gi Oh! Alright, so I was looking online last night and I saw this deck, the Mage Spectre deck. Um, I have changed a little bit, not much, uh, a few tweaks here and there, but nothing major really. So, if you look online, you should be able to find this deck pretty easily. But I'm this deck could be fun. So let's get into the profile. We have a unicorn. We have three of them actually. They're level six, uh, scale two. They have no pendulum effect. I think it's because they have they're um they're not released yet. I think, or maybe they are, and they just haven't updated it. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, the monster effect though is. During either player's turn, you can target one pendulum monster you control and one monster your opponent controls. Return them both to the hand. You can only use this effect of Mage Spectre Unicorn once per turn. Okay, and Mage Spectre cards cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. So that's that's pretty big, really. All right, then I threw in two Intermage Clowns. Or, or perform age clowns I mean um, if it's sent to the graveyard you can target one perform age monster in your graveyard and special summon it its attack and defense become zero you take a thousand points of damage but you can only use it once per turn but it's a good way of getting those monsters back on your side of the field to special summon so you can actually summon really quick with then we have uh, three Dragonus, the Empowered Warrior. Alright, this guy is for boosting damage and um, you can search with him too. Alright, so he's a level 4, 1500, 1500, and a scale of 2. His pendulum effect is at the start of the damage step, if a monster you control battles a face up monster your opponent controls, you can discard one card, have the attack and defense of that opponent's monster. Okay, so the attack and defense loss remains if this card leaves the field. So this guy is awesome for those big guys you can't get around with these littler guys like a uh, thousand attacker, stuff like that. He's really good for that. Now his monster's effect is when this card in your monster zone is destroyed by your opponent's attack or card effect, you can activate this effect during this turn's end phase. Add one warrior or spell type or spellcaster type monster with 2,000 or less attack from your deck to your hand, except for itself, of course. But that helps you search out every monster in your deck, which is a good thing. So we run three of those. Then we have the Mage Spectre Crow, level four, pendulum of five. Uh, when this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can add one Mage Spectre spell card from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Mage Spectre Crow once per turn, and it can't be, yeah, the whole can't be destroyed by, yeah. So Mage Spectres are really actually good. But we run three Crows, then we have uh, three Raccoons. Uh, it's a level three and skill of five. When this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can add one Mage Spectre monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Mage Spectre, okay, yeah. once per turn, can't be destroyed. So you can get another search. This whole deck's about search and, yeah. Then this is another uh, non-Mage Spectre card. Um, Arc Fiend Eccentric. Uh, level 3, scale 7. Pendulum effect, you can target one other spell trap card on the field, destroy both it and this card. You can only use the effect once per turn. So instead of running like MSTs or stuff like that, you use this guy. Uh, you can tribute this card, then target one monster on the field, destroy it, and you can only use the effect once per turn. So in the pendulum zone, you can destroy spell trap. In the monster zone, you can destroy monsters. So we run three of those. They're level three, so they're pretty good. Uh, the scale of 7 helps you get pretty much everything in your deck special summoned. Uh, then we run Mage Spectre Cat, which is a uh, pendulum of 2, level 3. 
When this card is normal or special summoned, you can activate this effect during the end phase. Add one Mage Spectre card from your deck to your hand. So it's another search, of course. Um, the only problem with all these Mage Spectre cards is they do have the low attack. That's the only thing I'm seeing bad with them. So there's a lot of sort of beefy stuff in the extra deck to make up for it. Then we have two effect failures just to help negate some of the effects that go off. And it's a tuner. Because there is no other tuners in this deck. Alright, then we have the spell cards. We have Mage Spectre Storm. Uh, you can tribute one wind spell type ca or spell caster type monster, then target one monster your opponent controls, shuffle it into the deck. So it's sort of like um, a compulse, sort of. Sort of. Then we have one rota, uh, help you get uh, this guy out, the empowered warrior guy. Then three upstart goblins. So I had the choice between pot of duality or upstart and upstart always wins on my my side pot of duality is always good but upstart in my opinion is better yeah your opponent gains a thousand but you get a free draw out of it so then we have mage specter cyclone tribute one wind spell type or spellcaster type monster then target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it so it's like the storm, but the cyclone's a little bit stronger. <laughs> then we have Majestic Pegasus. Okay, it's a filled spell card. All Mage Spectre monsters gain 300 attack and defense. You contribute one wind spell caster type monster, special summon one level four or lower Mage, Spe Mage Spectre monster from your deck. You can only use the effect of Majestic Pegasus once per turn. So, uh, so with this on the field, you can actually pull off a little bit of combo with Perform Age. Oh no, it has to be a wind, and that's not wind. Never mind. Never mind. But it can still work. All right, then we have Mage Specter Tornado. Tribute one wind spell type or spellcaster type monster. Then target one monster your opponent controls and banish it. Huh? <laughs> well, more destruction. Then we have Mage Spectre Tempest. When a monster would be special summoned or a or a monster effect is activated, tribute one wind spellcaster type monster, negate the special summon and or activation, and if you do destroy that card. So it this whole deck revolves around tributing your own monsters, negate everything that happens. Plus you can also Xy summon to a lot of things. Alright, so that's the main deck. Now let's get into the extra deck. This one, they're mainly just big beefy things. So, we have uh, the Blasting Draco Slayer. A one tuner plus one or more non-tuner pendulum monsters. Once per turn, you can tribute, or you can target one pendulum monster on the field, or one card in the pendulum zone. Destroy it. And if you do, shuffle one card on the field into the deck. Once per turn, you can special summon one Draco Slayer monster from your deck in defense position, but it cannot be used as a synchro material for a summon. Uh, I don't know. There's no Draco Slayers in this deck. But he's a big, beefy 2850 attacker. That's good. So we run two of those. Then we have... Uh, Alright, this one is something I just saw and I was like, this could work. Uh, Norito, the Moral Leader. Two level 6 spellcaster type monsters, which we have some level 6 spellcasters. Um... Once per turn during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap card, you can detach one material from this card, negate it, and if you do, destroy it. So more spell trap destru destruction. Then I threw in a strike bouncer. Two level six. Once per turn during either player's turn, when a monster effect is activated on your opponent's side of the field, you can detach one material from this card, 
negate the effect and if you do inflict a thousand points of damage to your opponent so a way to negate effects that way then we have gauntlet shooter it's two level sixes again uh, you detach one material from this card then target one monster your opponent controls and destroy it more monster destruction like I said this deck is oh what okay I'll get it back it it's all about destroying stuff that was a uh, I don't remember now I'll figure it out then we have giant red hand three level five monsters there are actually three there's giant red hand does not work no no giant red hand does not work I don't know why it was even in there I don't know uh, then we have two dark rebellions like I said this deck needs some damage so dark rebellion really helps with that uh, takes two level fours and you can detach two materials from this card target one face up monster your opponent controls its attack becomes half its current attack and if it does this card gains that lost attack so this guy can get big really fast then I threw two one on ones in to help get rid of those special summons one Castell or Sky Blaster. Then we have one Acid Golem. Uh, the reason I don't run more than one Acid Golem is because of the whole uh, during the standby phase, detach one material from this card or take 2,000 points of damage. So you don't have to take or detach the card, but you still take 2,000 points of damage. The main reason is you cannot special summon any monsters while this card has no extra materials. Or you cannot special summon any monsters while it's out, and it cannot attack while it has no materials on it. So it's either or you take 2,000 points of damage, or it can't attack, and then you're just going to be to the point where you can't attack, and you're just taking 2,000 points of damage. So it's it's a good card. I mean, it's a 3,000 beater, but the side effects a bit iffy. Then we have Totem Bird. Uh, two level three wind monsters, which we have during either player's turn when a trap or spell card is activated, you can detach two materials from this card, and negate the activation, and if you do destroy it, this card loses 300 attack while it has no exit materials. So it's a 1900, and you can negate stuff. That's the main reasoning behind it. So. Um, any tips or you know suggestions for this deck I'd be really interested in because it's sort of a newer deck and there's not much I mean there's a bunch of deck profiles online about different things and stuff but I don't know it's it's new people are running it but I think it needs a lot of work it might work really well the way it's set up now, but I don't know. But I'm going to call this here. So if you like what you saw, leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.